Goldilocks was very happy when she woke up. The three bears were coming over. What shall I cook? She wondered. Then she had the perfect idea. Porridge. Goldilocks fetched a pencil and some paper. She began to make a shopping list. What was in porridge? Goldilocks knew there were oats. She knew there was milk. But what else? What made porridge taste so good? Was it sugar? Maybe lemons? Perhaps peanut butter? Goldilocks wasn't sure, so she made a long list. Then Goldilocks got the bus to the supermarket. Soon her basket was full. Goldilocks started cooking as soon as she got home. First, she mixed the oats and milk together. Next, she squeezed in two big lemons. Then, she mixed in everything else. Goldilocks tasted the porridge. Oh, no! It was too sour. So, she got more oats and milk and started again. This time, Goldilocks added some pepper. She tasted the porridge. Ouch! It was too spicy. So she got more oats and more milk and started again. This time, Goldilocks spooned in a big dollop of chocolate sauce. She tasted the porridge. Yuck! It was too sweet. Goldilocks was cross. She had made three big pots of porridge, but none of them tasted right. Just then, the doorbell rang. The three bears had arrived. There was no time to start again. Oh dear! cried Goldilocks as she ran to open the front door. Ooh, porridge, said the bears as they sat down. And so many different kinds. Soon, each of the bears had a big bowl of porridge in front of them. Goldilocks was worried. She was sure the bears would not like her porridge. She was right. The bears did not like her porridge. They loved it. Ooh, lemon porridge. My favorite, said Mama Bear. Wow, spicy porridge. Delicious, said Papa Bear. Yummy! I love chocolate porridge, cried Baby Bear. Phew, said Goldilocks, and she flopped into a chair. Which porridge are you going to have, Goldilocks? asked Baby Bear. But Goldilocks was fed up with porridge. Thank you, she said. But I think I'll stick to toast. <laughs>